Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Today I'm going to do a reading for Capricorn. This is going to be um, your weekly reading, February 13th through the 19th. Um, I apologize, I'm running a little late. Um, so I'm about two days behind here. But again, this is your weekly, the 13th through the 19th. Okay. All right, um, this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. If you'd like to check out your other signs, my information's in the description box. There's a playlist link that has my weekly, monthly, yearly, and then also I have in there um, some uh, timeless readings, some pick a card readings. So feel free to check those out. There's also uh, astrologycafe.com link in there. If you don't know your other signs, you can pull your natal chart as well, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So the last thing that I have for you is um, I'm doing a giveaway at the end of the month. I'm going to give away two bracelets. We have an amethyst and a howlite bracelet. They both have an angel wing on them, okay? I can put uh, Reiki healing energy on them. I'm a Reiki healer, or I can do manifestation energy if you want to manifest love and abundance or something else. Um, <clears throat> they're also available on my website, IamAngelLove.com, which is in the description box. So I will reach out to the winner the um, first week of March. I'll just reply to your comment and give you instructions, okay? So um, let's get started with your reading. Your notes from the universe card already came out. And the card that you have is you are destined for greatness on the wings of love. Wow, beautiful message there, Capricorn. Let's see what this says. <clears throat> to clarify, the primary roles of love are not to heal, fix, or mend not to soothe, cure, or erase, not even to refresh, rejuvenate, or restore, hardly. The primary roles of love are to Yahoo, Yeehaw, and Woohoo. Get your love on the universe. So <laughs> very cute there from the universe. Okay, so it's just about feeling good. Okay, that's the message there, feeling good about love, not trying to fix anyone or cure them or any of those things okay all right so let's get started here we're gonna um, pull your cards capricorn thank you angels spirit guides god in the universe archangels what messages do you have for capricorn february 13th through the 19th let's get three cards thank you Oh, there's the last three there. Let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we have the six of wands there. We'll get back to that. <clears throat> okay. So before we get started here, I'm going to pull um, a clarifier for each card. I got a new deck, so I'm excited to use it. And let's um, pull some clarifiers. Just checking to see. I don't even got to see what the name of this deck is. Okay. So this is the AE White Weight Tarot. Okay. So this is just another form of the Rider Weight deck, but it's pretty cool here. It's got it's like kind of like holographic cards. Oh. Okay. We got too many there. All right. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Got two cards. Why is the Seven of Pentacles? Why is the Two of Cups here, please? Why is the Two of Cups here? Okay, why is the Five of Wands card here? Why is the Five of Wands? Okay, they're sticking to each other here. We've got three cards there. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? Oh, wow. Look at what we have here. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. 
So you have the Ace of Swords and you have the Six of Wands. I feel like there's going to be victory in this situation. Okay, remember this reading doesn't always have to be about love. It can be about any area in your life. I know for a lot of you it will be about love though. So the first card that you have is the Page of Cups. Okay, clarified by the Four of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles here. Okay, so... I feel here, there's somebody here that's going to bring you some good news, that's going to make you really happy here with the Page of Cups. This could be somebody that's water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I feel here, this could be a message, um, like I said, does not have to be a love interest. This can be a message from family. This can be a message about an investment. This could also, I'm hearing too, if you are trying to purchase a home, okay, and um, you were waiting um, to get an answer here or an approval or um, where you're going to come up with the funds to put a down payment here. I feel here too you're going to get some good news about that, okay? Um, could also be um, a job offer at a distance as well. Um, but if this is love, I feel this is somebody that you have definitely put some time in with, okay? Um, you've waited patiently for things to grow or things to happen here. Um, maybe even possibly waited for commitment here. And I feel here this is an indication that there is definitely a future here for you and this person. That this is somebody that is long-term potential here. So this could also, you know, being with the Page of Cups, um, this could also be a new person coming in if you don't have anybody in your life or nobody comes to mind. Um, with this situation okay and then we have here the seven of pentacles and the six of wands so again definitely this is something that you've put some time and effort into um, you've watched it grow and now is the time that I feel here things are going to pay off for you okay so this could be Capricorn energy um, or Capricorn energy this could be earth energy so this is your energy Capricorn could be Taurus or Virgo as well um, I know we talked about water energy. We also have here fire energy, Aries or Sagittarius. And then we have here the six of wands. Okay, so definitely I feel like there's going to be success in this situation. Okay, you're going to feel really, really good about it. Okay, so I feel like whatever you've invested in, whether it is a love interest, a job, uh, you're trying to purchase a home, I feel like you're going to get good news here. Now, the next two cards that we have, so we have the Devil card here, okay? So this is your energy, Capricorn, and then we have the Two of Cups. So whatever the situation is, if this is love for you, there, you've definitely met your match, okay, here. So whether you know this person or you don't, or this may be somebody new coming in for you, but this is um, definitely a strong connection here between the two of you. Okay, if this is not love, then, then there's definitely, um, you've put all your heart and soul into this situation. Okay, if this has to do with finances or um, a job. Okay. All right, now the next card that we have, interesting, we have the Five of Wands. So I feel like there could have been some struggle with this situation, some, um, you know, push and pull here. So, you know, kind of the energy where you take one step forward but three steps back you're kind of in a tug of war with the situation this could also be fire energy aries or sagittarius okay i feel here with the five of cups there have definitely been some challenges here okay some things that definitely um you have been upset with or you know feel like you lost some things uh, there could be loss here. There could be regret. Um, but there was some sadness here over this situation. Okay. Definitely here too with the Ten of Wands. There was something here that was burdening you. Okay. This may too be feeling like in the past you may have been feeling financially strapped here. Um, and I'm also getting here too. There's something here too. Definitely you you had you were emotional about, okay? Very, very emotional because I feel like you you have wondered whether 
you know, things are going to take off with this situation. Then we have here the moon card, okay? This is this can be deep emotion. This could be fears. This could be illusions, okay? There could be somebody around you too here, you know, um, that maybe didn't have your best interests at heart, okay? This could also be, you know, we got the, we got the crab here. This could be cancer as well. Okay, so I definitely feel that there was some struggles with this situation. Okay, definitely some struggles with this situation and some emotions tied to it. All right. Now the next card that you have here is the Three of Wands. Okay, so I feel here for some of you, <clears throat> you know, this could have been a situation, um, a rebirth of something. Okay, I feel like there was some loss with a situation that you were really, really struggling with. Um, and then you have the Three of Wands, okay? So I feel like this is something that you've been waiting for to come in. Something, um, like I said, that you've invested a lot of time and energy, okay? Um, but I do feel like it's coming. I do feel like um, you're going to have victory in this situation. <clears throat> Again, this is fire energy, if I didn't say it, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Then we have the death card here, okay? So this could be Scorpio, um, Scorpio energy, okay? I feel like this is about transformation and renewals because it came out with the, with the, um, the full card, okay? I feel like this is about new opportunities coming your way or your ships coming in, whatever you have invested in. I feel like it's coming your way here, okay? So I definitely feel it's on its way. I feel like things are transforming. So whatever this situation was in the past where there was loss, there was, you know, this tug of war and burdens, I feel like that's all transforming. There's a new beginning for you, okay? Now the next two cards that came out, you have the chariot and you have the ten of cups. Beautiful, okay? So the chariot, um, this is all about moving forward, okay? Taking control of your life, moving forward. Uh, this could be cancer energy. This is also water energy here with the Ten of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, so this could be the happily ever after um, if this is a love interest because look at your first card out was you are destined for greatness on the wings of love, okay? So definitely feel here, for some of you, this might be moving forward um, in a connection or relationship, all right? Whether this is somebody new coming in um, or someone from the past. This could also be um, about moving forward to something else that's more emotionally satisfying for you, okay? Like I said, some of you, this could be about purchasing a home, um, you know, moving to a new home, okay, or some type of investment paying off. Also feel like, too, this could also be about, um, um, for some of you, could be receiving an inheritance is what I'm getting, okay, that may change things for you, may be able to um, change things uh, for your life. I mean, change things in your life um, that's giving you a new perspective, and, and happiness and, and stability here. Okay. All right. So we're going to move on and I'm going to pull some romance angel cards. See what comes out here. Okay. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Romance angels, what messages do you have for Capricorn? What messages do you have for Capricorn? Let's get three cards, please. Three cards, please. One. Ooh. Two. And let's get one more. Okay. So the first card that you have is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. So like I said, I feel like this is something you've been waiting for already. Okay. And I feel like it's coming in for you. So, you know, your angels are just saying that this is all worked out in, in divine timing, okay? 
So, you know, you may be feeling um, a little bit of loss over this, that it's taken some time, but I feel here that there was a reason for it, okay? And they want you to know that it's been, it will be worth the wait, and I'm seeing that here. I feel like there's a lot of stability coming in here for you. Now, the next card is, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments, forgiving and learning, okay? So yeah, I feel like there is some type of loss here. Okay, so there may there may need to be some forgiveness for whatever this situation was that burdened you, that felt like a tug of war, you know, where you had um, some deep emotions over this situation. Okay. And then the last card that came out, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, engagement. Okay, so yes, I do feel here, some of you are moving forward here to this Ten of Pentacles energy, okay? Moving forward to stability here with your soulmate, okay? So very, very possible. Some of you, you know, it's the day before Valentine's. Some of you may get um, a proposal. Some of you may get commitment, okay? Um, but I see here this situation is moving to something that's more committed or something that's more stable here for you. All right. Wow. Beautiful messages, Capricorn. Okay. So I'm going to pull a couple um, lovers oracle cards and see what comes out for you. Thank you, angels. Spirit guides for your guidance. What messages do you have for Capricorn? What messages do you have for Capricorn? Let's get, ooh, there's one. Let's get one more. Oh, yo, yo, Okay. That <laughs> one fell right in my lap. Okay. Oh, wow. First card you have is Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. There you have it. Romance is coming in. The next card that you have is playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So I feel here there's definitely something that you need to heal from with this person. Okay, there's going to be some healing in this situation. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, if you'd like to enter for the bracelets, just subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.